a lot of talk about in today's video. A lot of Lions news and rumors here in this video. We're going to be talking about Brian Branch. Dan Campbell spoke on him and about his versatility. What could be looking forward towards him doing this year. Jared Goff and Amon Ross St. Brown contract extensions. Dan Campbell spoke on it. Give you my thoughts on what he said. Josh Reynolds, he also spoke about Josh Reynolds. We're going to get into that situation. Three corners the Lions have seen, whether it be in a visit and or at the pro day. We're going to talk about those three prospects. And Cam Sutton's situation just gets weirder. Let's go. Again, folks, if you've not subscribed to the channel, we're going to be live for the NFL Draft all seven rounds. It's going to be epic to see what the Detroit Lions are going to do and improving the roster. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out during the draft. Let's get the first here and talk about Brian Branch. Dan Campbell spoke about Brian Branch, said Brian had the team's best defensive grade via pro football focus at 78.9. His coverage grade was first among the team's defensive backs at 77.7. Working as a team slot cornerback, he allowed completion percentage of 64.5% on passes. Per PFF, Branch allowed 624 snaps in the slot, 127 in the box, 46 in the boundary corner position, 34 as team's free safety. Dan Campbell spoke on giving him more duties this year as he excelled great at the slot position. You want to slowly work him into the rest of his defense. He's going to have opportunities this year in the safety position as well. He's going to get a little bit more of that, and that's about the versatility of the Detroit Lions secondary. That's what they want. They want players to be able to go in and out. Who you got? Meek Robertson, who can play in the slot as well, so this could open up an opportunity for Brian Branch to get more playing time at safety or maybe something else that Aaron Glenn can utilize him and his skill set. Dan Campbell spoke on this, and that's that's the important of this defense is we're trying to get the players in best positions to succeed to cover the deficiencies that we currently have. And Brian Branch, such a fantastic fl player, we need to use all of his skill set. That's just the, the bottom line because he's so versatile and good. So if we can free up for him, that's going to spell great news for the Detroit Lions. So expect that this year. The Lions using Mr. Branch in multiple different ways. Are you fine with the Lions giving more duties to Brian Branch? Why for yes and, and for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Jared Goff is the topic of conversation. Dan Campbell spoke upon Jared Goff contract extension. Lions coach Dan Campbell said Tuesday during the NFL's annual league meeting that the organization has been in discussions. Each player regarding extension. Reports surfaced earlier that St. Brown could get around $26-28 million. Meanwhile, it's a little bit of a report about a golf extension, but he could land a hefty new deal with the quarterback market. I know a lot of people are saying, well, they're going to use Hennon Hooker. They're not going to extend Jared Goff. That's not the case. Dan Campbell spoke and they're working on getting the deal done for Jared Goff. Why? Because Jared Goff killed it this year. Second in yards, 11th in QBR, fourth in touchdowns, and not too bad, 107th in high end tees. You want that to be really far down. So Jared Goff's extension is going to happen. It will happen before the season starts. We're just, we need to know what type of years and, and what's the deal going to be. It's going to be a four- or five-year deal. What's the money going to be for each year, cap space-wise? Personally, I don't care how much players get paid. They get paid buku money. It's all about the cap space. So if they didn't have cap, I wouldn't care how much money a player got. But we all got to be fiscally responsible for this football team. So obviously, it's a little bit different when you have that cap situation. So question for you, should the Detroit Lions extend Jared Goff? Why for yes and for no? Give me your thoughts. We're going to talk about the extension for St. Brown because Dan Campbell spoke on this. St. Brown extension could be in the range of $26, $28 million annually, and that's a lot of money. Dan Campbell spoke and said they are working to get the deal done. Now, clearly, he's not going to be the guy that's doing the numbers or the number crunch or anything like that, but anybody that suggests that St. Brown's not going to get extended or he's not a number one wide receiver is about to figure out that He's going to get extended, and he's going to get paid as a number one wide receiver, $26, 28000000 million. Why is this number not bad, in my opinion? Because he's a top five wide receiver, folks. St. Brown is a top 
five wide receiver. 119 receptions, 1,515 yards, 10 touchdowns, 12.7 average. He's a number one wide receiver. I don't care that he's six foot tall. I don't care he's not six five. He's not a Calvin Johnson type size. He's getting it done. 1,515 yards. And all he does is get first downs. He's a number one wide receiver. Point blank period. And he's going to get paid like it. And he should get paid like it. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to St. Brown extension. When you're giving big money to players, your worry is, are they going to be responsible with that money? Are they going to take some plays off because now they're paid? Not a single person on planet Earth believes that St. Brown is going to take plays off and he's not going to work hard for his contract. This guy is pros, pros, pros when it comes to the game of football and the way he practices and operates on the field and off the field. St. Brown... Zero to worry about giving this man money. Extend him. He's going to get extended, and it's going to be great to have this man get paid. He's going to get paid for the work he's going to do, not for what he's already done. He's a young player. The Detroit Lions got a great one, and when you have a great one like this, you do not let him go. I don't care what 97 when the ticket says. I don't care the dislike for whatever reason they have. St. Brown's a number one guy, and he's going to get paid. Should the Lions extend Amon Ross St. Brown? It should be all wise. Unless you're just trolling, everyone's going to be a Y on this one. St. Brown absolutely should get extended. Last time I bought tickets, I actually didn't use game time. I just decided to go buy tickets at Tiger Stadium right there, and it took forever because of the Lions and I should have used game times, and I was stressing. Well, with game time, you can stop stressing unlike I was and start getting hyped for the fun that you're going to have. You can find any event in your area, whether it's sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, or whatever, their lowest price guaranteed is the game time guaranteed, which means you always get the best prices, and if you find tickets in the same row or less, game time will credit you 110% of the Difference. You can get exclusive flash deals on tickets for football, baseball, basketball, concerts, and more. In the middle screenshot, by the way, I think it's a fantastic feature of the app. It shows you where your seat is, and you can move your phone left to right, kind of like a 3D live photo. So it's simple. You download Game Time app. You put in the code Chat Sports to get twenty dollars off your very first purchase. Pretty simple. You go to the Redeem Code section, plug in Chat Sports. Terms do apply. You got to create an account. Got to have an email to get $20 off your very first purchase. The information is going to be in the description in the comment section of this video. If you're buying Lions tickets or any tickets in your area this year, make sure you're using game time. Download game time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. What about Josh Reynolds? So Dan Campbell spoke on Josh Reynolds because that's another player we're waiting to see what happens here. He says, regarding Josh Reynolds, he's been in our offense. Call it half a season or a little bit more, Campbell said. He'll have a better understanding of what we're doing when we just get camp. So I think that it's going to be just give us somebody that we know we can plug in the position. He's a big body guy, too. He he is so he's a little different than anybody we've got. And that's really what gives us. They like St. Brown and just like he's been in our offense. Exactly. That's what I've been saying. Josh Reynolds has been in our offense. Now he knows the offense, the continuity between him and Jared Goff is amazing. When you have that, you do not give it up. You don't do that. You have to keep it. Josh Reynolds can come back to the Detroit Lions. They absolutely can. And it's one of those deals where the Detroit Lions just got to worry about the money. This is all about the money, in my opinion. That's why he did a visit with the Ravens. Maybe he wants a little bit more. We're not wanting to give them that much more. And so the Detroit Lions are playing a little bit wait-and-see approach, and I think that's the way it should be. Uh, Josh Reynolds wants to see his worth. He probably wants to maximize it, as he should. But I, I agree with Dan Campbell here. I say bring Josh Reynolds back because the continuity is there. He knows the offense. Bring him back in a one-year deal. You could still draft a wide receiver if you're wanting to develop a guy, but I see nothing wrong with that. But you may completely disagree with me. Let me know in the comments right now, would you bring back Josh Reynolds? Why yes, 
and no. The Detroit Lions met uh, some cornerbacks as well as been to the Alabama Pro Day. And Kool-Aid McKinstry was one of the players that they were looking at there. Kool-Aid killed it at his combine. Made himself some money. He did. 40 yards. It was recorded as a 4-4-7. This, it, it, that's what he did at the combine. He'll have he, he he's gonna have surgery because he has a fracture, and that's when he did he did the pro day with the fracture. He's gonna have surgery and it is expected to be a full go in camp whenever NFL training camp starts for each team. So if he goes to the Detroit Lions, he'd be ready for Lions camp, goes to any other team, because different teams have different dates. So he will be someone the Lions absolutely could draft, folks, at 29, they could even trade up and get him. Kool-Aid McKinstry. That is a player they do like. Another player that they spoke with is a player called Maurice Norris. Now, Maurice Norris, he's a small guy out of Fresno State. He repped 559 out of here his pro day. He got some custom sweet shorts. He did great job as his pro day being versatile, and he shows his flexibility. Not a big name. This could be a late draft pick and or a player whom could be an undrafted guy. Sometimes those are the guys you look for to really help a team out. Another player that they looked at was Nahemiah Pritchett. They met him at the Senior Bowl. He's six foot tall, 190 pounds. He ran a 4'3", 640. Okay. He did good for his RAS score as a 9.25. He had 22 tackles, one interception, a 58.8, and just 134s in his coverage last year and 26 targets. Day two prospect, the Detroit Lions. Again, if they don't take a corner in round one, obviously you got day two and three. That's where he could absolutely fall to the Detroit Lions, and it's very possible. Let's get into the now the Cam Sutton situation. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, but this is very weird. Cam Sutton, when he had the warrant for his arrest, was actually at the training facility. Unbelievable, because nobody, we've been hearing that the, he nobody got a hold of him. Obviously, they released him, but they told him, you need to turn yourself in. Cam Sutton has yet to turn himself in. So, he knows about it. He's not an idiot. He's on the run. This is clear guilt at this point. I don't know what else you could do. The team says, turn yourself in. You have a warrant for your arrest. He says, oh, and runs. Get released by the Lions. So we're going to find out more. At some point, he'll get caught. We'll see whenever it happens and what occurs with that over there. But that's just the way that it is right now. Folks, again, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be live for the NFL draft, and you want to make sure that you are there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest Lions news and rumors. With that said, folks, adios.